Hi everybody, it's Smith from Fireside Tarot again. I hope everyone is well. Uh, <coughs> pardon me. Um, so. I'm still feeling froggy. I think I'm just going to keep going. Um, no idea what order these cards are in. I don't know who's coming up next. So, I'm not making decisions this month. I'm letting the cards do it. Aquarius, it's your turn. Soon it'll be for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will. Do whatever you choose to do with the message given to you by the cards. If you choose to do anything at all, it is your journey, not mine. I just read the cards. If it doesn't resonate, that's okay, too. It, it's a general reading. It's not going to resonate with every Aquarius. It'd be cool if it did, but it's not going to. Check your Moon, Rising, your Venus sign readings. If you think you may want something that might resonate a little bit better, Time and energy are both fluid. All things can and be, be vice versa. Cross watchers are always welcome. And without further ado, Aquarius, let's get your cards on the table. Quick shout out to an Aquarian that's very dear to my heart, Mr. Ramblin' Mike. Thank you so much for everything. You, sir, are a rock star. You are indeed. I appreciate you. Okay. And if you got most of you probably know who he is. He's 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 pretty up there. He's pretty up there. If you don't know who he is, go check him out. Oh my gosh, amazing reader. Has taught me so much. Aquarius, why are you here? the fool reversed. Some of you may be struggling with trusting your own judgment right now. Good possibility. You're afraid to jump. I'm sensing fear. Okay. How do you feel about the person you're dealing with? Six of swords reversed. Maybe they've returned to someone else. Possibility. Or maybe you think you might want to return to them. What do you think of them? Three of cups. Oh gosh. Uh, rips my guts out every time I see that card. Because I don't want the second three to pop up. It can mean celebration, hanging out with your friends, having a good time. It's all so indicative of a third party situation. Not necessarily someone that's being cheated on. That's not always what a third party situation means. It could just be someone sticking their nose in where it doesn't belong. So... They either are the nosy friend, or they have a nosy friend. There's a third party involved, possibly, if we see the second three. I'm not going to reiterate on that anymore. We'll get a clarifier in a minute. What do you want from them? Oh, my Aquarian friends. Oh, dear. He's a bit of a stooge, the Knight of Cups is. He comes in with his full cup. He leaves when his cup is full. He does not always hang out long. I'm not always a fan. We'll get clarity in a minute. How do, the, how do they feel about you? Queen of Swords in the reverse. Oh, snippity. They may feel like you have a little bit of a bad attitude. Or they have a bad attitude toward you. Take it however resonates. Whoa, wrong card. What do they think of you? Hanged man.
gaining perspective. Emotionally stuck. It is in the upright. But I'm feeling emotionally stuck. Not trusting one's own judgment. Not having the greatest of attitudes. What do they want from you? Ace of Swords reversed. They may just want to cut communication off. Hold on a second. I needed a drink. What's the obstacle? King of Swords. Oh my! And not only is there bad attitudes going on here, there, there's emotion-based decisions. When you think with your heart, specifically if it's broken, logic does not always come into play, usually. <sighs> what needs to be done? Seven of Cups in the reverse. This could be putting an end to confusion. Resolving confusion. Alright, let's throw some clarifiers down. Come here. Okay. Universe, Source, and Spirit. Can I get a little clear... La, 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 if I can make words work right now. Can I get a little clarity on the cards in the table for Aquarius, please? Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for July. Come on. It's the Illuminati deck. It does not always want to shuffle. No, sir. Why is the Six of Swords reversed here? Hi. Princess of Pentacles. Apologies are in order. Take it however resonates. Either you want to go back and apologize, you wish they would come back and apologize. Apologies are in order. And the comeback's not happening until the apology happens on either side. Why is the Three of Cups here? Eight of Swords reversed. <laughs> Thank God. It's not another three. Okay. Woo! The sweat bullets there for a minute, guys. They're out with their friends. They're having a good time. They're coming out of it. It's not absorbing and consuming them. Why is the Knight of Cups here? Ten of Pentacles. <laughs> One more. I just heard have their cake and eat it too. That's horribly inappropriate. Ten of Wands. Okay. Two tens. It's a completion. 
Most definitely a completion. Releasing the burden. You may want whatever they need to get out of their system to just be done and complete that cycle of their life and come to the thing with you. The family thing. The stability and abundance thing. Why not? I'll go into it. The big brick house with the white picket fence and the 2.5 kids and the dog and the pool and the air conditioner, my gosh, it's hot in here and all that happy jazz. But you, you know, you understand that this is just a stage in their life where they're out sowing their wild oats and they're doing their thing and it's not what they want right now. Okay. Why is Queen of Swords reversed here? I already know why she's here, but we're going to ask the cards anyway. Why is Queen of Swords reversed here? Okay. Four of Cups reversed. Ah. They feel like you have a horrible attitude. You couldn't see what the, you were... They, uh, da, 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 da. If I can make words work. You couldn't see what they were trying to hand you. You kept looking at the bad stuff. You couldn't see the good stuff. You didn't want to see it. Why is the hanged man here? Nine of swords in the reverse. That was super weird. My Xbox just turned on for no reason. Okay, super weird. Whatever. Um... Okay, it's seriously just creeped me out, but I'm sure that the remote's just, or the controller's just sitting somewhere. I think the guys are out in the living room messing with me. Hanged man. Nine of swords in the reverse. They think you're not giving this a second thought. You've just accepted it for what it is, and you're over it. That's what they think. Wow. Okay. Why is the Ace of Swords reversed here? Yeah, Ace of Pentacles reversed. One more. Six of Swords reversed, Two of Cups. It's break time. Put the house plan out on the back porch for a while. Let it come back if it's meant to. If it is meant to come back to life out on the porch when it gets the sunshine and the rain, bring it back into the house, see what it does. They want the return. They want the connection. But somebody's out on the back porch for a while. Okay. 
someone's not trusting their judgment, there's attitude issues. There may it may not have been some third party playing around. I haven't seen a second three yet. But at the very least, somebody may have been having a little bit too much fun. A little bit. A little bit. Sowing some wild oats. Doing their thing. Why is the King of Swords reversed here for the obstacle in this connection? Four of Swords. Okay. Death Reverse. There's sour attitudes, extreme sour attitudes, emotional decisions being made, things that need to be laid to rest that probably haven't been laid to rest yet, change that needs to occur that hasn't occurred yet. The chubby little caterpillar probably needs to eat a few more leaves before it crawls up into that cocoon and becomes a butterfly or a moth, whatever it's gonna become. The only real difference is moths eat your sweaters. I mean, that's really the only true difference, and they fly at night. But, you know, to each their own. Point is, change hasn't occurred that needs to. Somebody's not there yet. We're all at different places on the journey. Somebody's not there yet. Of Wands reversed, King of Cups. There is no forward movement. There's a great deal of love. Great deal of emotion. Obviously, people are making emotion-based decisions. But there's no forward movement. You're stuck. So what do we do? Why is the Seven of Cups reversed here? of wands. Going down to the dock, decide if you're going to go fishing, or if you're going to sit and wait for the ship to come in. Hanged man reverse. Oh, sorry. Hanged man in the upright. Hanged man in the upright. Perspective. It's the good old mirror card. He should be hanging by his feet in front of a mirror, I swear. Because seeing things from the other person's perspective, you have to see it through their eyes. And you start seeing things through the other person's eyes when you look in a mirror. Takes two to tango. It's the card of Sagittarius, my Aquarian friends. I personally struggle in that avenue. I am the most in-person patient I personally know. I'm working on it. Temperance is also about positive energy flow and connections. These two cups are souls. This card is about how they connect, how they interact. How they interact. Energy flow. Star card.
you know, depending on how it's depicted. How you interact with the universe, how you interact with the elements around you, so forth. How you interact in the 5D versus the 3D. This is how you interact with each other. Are you picking up what I'm putting down? Seeing things through the other person's eyes. Clearing up any kind of confusion. Waiting it out. Temperance is the adulting card. There's sour feelings. People. Mistakes were made. Things happened. I wasn't there. I'm getting a very strong sense of things may have happened that should not have happened. You can either get stuck there, which is probably where you are right now. You can move through it and get past it and stay in the connection and hope for the best. You move away from it, distance yourself from it, say, you know, give the, you know, giant middle fingers, thumbs down, whatever. It's the, go take a long walk off a short pier, kick rocks, whatever. But nothing happens until you sit down and have a freaking conversation. Without emotion-based decisions. Without sour feelings. It's about how you interact with each other. It means you actually have to interact. No more of the silent treatment stuff. I think there's been some silent treatment going on here. People not trusting their judgment. And granted, you know, if I was in a situation I don't think I'd want to jump either, but... Let's face it, I'm a Sagittarius, I'll jump into anything, just saying... I'm not ripping on Saggies when I say that. You know, I love Saggies. They are my people. But you, you, you understand what I'm saying. It's all about how you interact with each other. Let's get your advice. <gasps> the sun reversed and the devil reversed. You want to strengthen the connection you have, you have to disconnect with some of the bad habits that you may have. You need to stop doing things that no longer serve you. I don't know who I'm talking to, Aquarius and Aquarius Watcher, but you know. Kick off the cement shoes. The Ten of Wands in reverse and the Star in the reverse. The healing cannot happen, either in the 5D or the 3D, if you don't release the burden, if you don't get the things off your chest, if you don't say what needs to be said, and if what that is in is an apology, on your part, cross watcher, if I'm talking to you, somebody's got to apologize, somebody better do it, because the healing can't begin until things are said that need to be said. No one's right. No one's wrong. Things happened. Paths were chosen. This is what has occurred. This is where you are. Choose where you're going to go. Two of swords reversed and the justice reversed. Well, gosh. A difficult decision needs to be made. And things can't balance out until that decision's been made. A couple more from your clarifier deck. The Hermit and the Prince of Swords in the reverse. Okay. Go inside. The Hermit and the Hangman are a lot alike. You need to go inside. Take a good, hard, long look at yourself.
choices that have been made. I don't know who I'm talking to. Aquarius is a cross watcher. I'm talking to somebody. Somebody needs to hear this. Somebody needs to hear the words of Big Mama Sag speaking. And don't go fishing in the social media. Just dial direct. Dial direct. You want to answer to a question, just ask it. Don't go asking other people. Ask the person. And if they don't want to talk to you, let the energy level up. Give them their time. Hierophant in, the, uh, Hierophant in the reverse and the Princess of Swords in the reverse. No more of the silent treatment stuff. Whether or not you get back together, come back together, you know, get back together if you're in separation, if things level off, if you work things out, Nothing can happen until the conversation happens. Don't be afraid to have the conversation because you're afraid of the outcome. There's no such thing as a wrong path. All paths lead to your destiny. It's what path you choose to get to your destiny that makes it interesting. There's no wrong paths. That's how you avoid the shoulda, woulda, coulda. All right, my Aquarian friends, thank you so much for popping over. Oh, it's getting a little hot. It's getting a little late. I'm getting a little tired. I'm a little drained. Sitting in the chair is kind of making my, my feet swell up a little bit. So I really, I mean at this time, I think I'm done for the night. But I love you guys. And I will catch my Aquarian friends in August at the latest. End of July, beginning of August. I might do a special sometime between now and then. We'll see how things go health-wise and all the happy jazz and getting into the new normal and I'm settling into a new chapter in my life. So I'm glad to see you guys are along for the ride. I love you. Be blessed. And I'll catch you later.